Hello everybody, it's me, and we're going to take a look at a special video. The schedule was a bit messed up because I didn't know what to say in manga that are better than anime, so we are instead getting my top five underrated manga in no particular order at all. I just chose five manga that I think are very underrated, and here we go. Okay, so number one, I mean, no, what is the Get Backers, um, number five get backers it's a 39 volume shonen yes it is a bit long but i think it's a really creative take on this shonen demographic i think it's really really interesting it's way better than the anime it goes further than the anime it it's just superior to the anime sadly tokyo pop do them losing their kodansha tales because the licenses because this was a Kodasha license in Japan. I mean, Kodasha title in Japan. I, you get the point. It was published by Kodasha in Japan. Took about published it here. Sadly, no one ever picked it up, which is a shame because I really want to see the series completed in English. I'm not sure if that's ever going to happen, but whatever. It's it was it's really good. Then Chrono Crusade. I would have put World and Brio, but I'm only choosing manga I have in my collection. And World and Brio, Dark Horse just never published that, so yeah. So I'm putting this in. This is vastly different from the anime. I, I watching the anime right now. It's real. It's pretty good, but this is better. It's an eight volume shonen. Again, really unique. Really unique. I really like ADV's release. They feature color pages. I'm not going to show them because that would take up too much time of the video. But believe me. You know what, I'll just show one. Yeah, color pages in this book. But, but yeah, I'm going to collect this after I'm done collecting drifters because I have like three volumes left of drifters. So then I'll collect this. Finish collecting it off, but I've read it all. The third one is a Posums. Technically, any Tusoma Nihei work could have fit on this list, but I chose the most underrated. The first volume is a bit slow. I mean, the first chapter takes up like half of the volume. It could have been like shorter. Or split into two, maybe even three chapters instead of the one big one. But this, it gets really good later on, at least in my opinion. It's a four, vo six volume shonen in Japan, but it's more of a seinen. And the artwork is, I think, a little different from different from Blam, Blam and Knights of Sidonia, the other two so many hair works I've read. I plan to check out Biomega soon. I've been planning to check that one out for a while now. But this is, again, color pages at the beginning. Really good manga. It does release technically a bit slowly. It's one of the few vertical comics, vertical manga I have. Their full name is Vertical Comics. But yeah, I'd highly recommend this. I This is up to date in my collection. And I think I'm the only one that's collecting this. If anyone else is collecting this, please let me know. Because I feel like I'm alone on collecting opossums. It's really good. You sure it has a low my anime list rating, but I think it should be a bit higher. Maybe I think they should do an anime of this so they can get so it could get more attention. Because honestly, I think this could if it's done right, not by Polygon Pictures, this could be done extremely well as an anime. The next one is a scene in that's on hiatus, the ten volume Dogs, Bullets, and Carnage. It's violent and and I'm not going to show any of the pages. It's really violent. I'll show, like, these pages. They're in color. Because every manga I have is in... Every one of these have color except for Get Backers. But yeah, this is a 10-volume on Hayata Seinen by Shiro Miwa. Very underrated. It's kind of like Black Lagoon and Jormungand. But this... And a, but it's more like Gangsta compared to those two. But it has the same feel. It's a badass sane in action manga. What I'm trying to get at. This is the only one that never got an anime. The prequel got a four episode OVA from the studio that's currently doing that the new JoJo anime adaptation. I think it's underrated as well. But I chose this because it's way more underrated. This needs an anime and needs to be finished. Pick it up. Just be warned that the last few volumes you have to read online and... It goes up to, I think, chapter 101, I think. I don't know. I, I just know it goes up to double digits and just stops. So keep that in mind. It just stops, but it's still very good. The final one is very underrated, at least in more, more modern times. Excuse me. And that is 
a shoujo, but not your typical shoujo. It's Tokyo Babylon. This has so many color pages, I'm not even going to show it. Maybe. But the artwork in this is really good. Yeah, there's color pages. But yeah, this is like... The story starts out a little light and dark. There's horror, but there's comedy. But it gets really dark in the second half. It gets dark really quickly, and I really like it. The OVAs I, are also underrated. They're one of the better... One of the better 90s OVAs, because many of the 90s OVAs that came out in the 90s aren't very good. But these were... Quote, OVAs for this, even though they didn't have the manga, are solid side stories in manga. So I'd recommend both. Not just the manga, not just the OVAs. I recommend doing what, reading the manga and watching the OVAs. I really hope this gets an anime adaptation one day. Also, X needs... The sequel, X needs a new anime adaptation. I, this is better than X, but I do think X has the better artwork. But yeah, those are my five underrated manga. But if you're wondering for availability, I'll tell you what the availability is after I put these down. But yeah, Get Backers is out of print. 27 volumes were published by Tokyo Pop. They're fairly easy to find, however. Like one of the easier Kadasha ones, unlike a certain GTO and GTO early years. Chrono Crusade, Volumes 1 to 7 are easy to find, but Volume 8, if there's a library near you that has it, just reserve it. If not, just read it online. But you can get these ADV manga, yes, ADV films that did have a manga imprint. Sadly, this one never picked up. I hope it does one day, but it's very unlikely. Apossums is ongoing, the only ongoing one, aside from dogs, if you want to count series that are on hiatus. This is... Four volumes out in English. I'd highly recommend you pick them up, all, all of them up. Dogs, Bulls, and Carnage on Hide is with 10 volumes in Japan. And there's 10 volumes in America, even though there are a couple chapters that aren't published in English. There's also a prelude. You may want to read it. I read it just to clear up some stuff, but otherwise just watch the OVA. It's way, I think the OVA is way better at adapting the... I think the OVA for the prelude is way better. Watch the OVA for the prelude and then just read the manga. The OVA, the prelude that the OVA is based on, it has, I don't like the art in it that much, but the OVA fixes it because it uses Miwa's later art style. And then finally, Tokyo Babylon, ad print for both versions. Tokyo Pop published it in seven volumes and then Dark Horse Comics printed two very beautiful deluxe editions. I recommend you go, I mean, not deluxe editions, like, Omnis, like the same size as the Blade of the Immortal ones, so I'd recommend you read them in that format, because it saves more money, and it's kind of cheaper. So yeah, these are my top five unrated manga. I'll see you tomorrow with that video that's been delayed so many times. The manga that have better anime. So yeah, see ya. Goodbye.